Hello, my name is Blair Overstreet, an organizer with the Center on Policy Initiative, the convener of the Invest in San Diego Families Coalition, and I'm calling today to register CPI's support for the county's investment and work on this research on alternatives to incarceration and to urge that impacted communities be heavily involved in providing solutions, that the research be expanded to include felonies, and that our county budget this year reflect this commitment to true public safety by disrupting the yearly pattern of increased sheriff budgets and instead put that money towards these alternatives. For years, people in San Diego County have been providing data in the form of testimony about their lived experiences, highlighting the lack of safety in county jails and at the hands of sheriff deputies, and have been advocating for policies and for services such as these that would actually help keep people safe. So should the board support the recommendation to create an advisory board, we hope that the majority of the seats on the board will be filled by these experts, formerly incarcerated people and their families. As stated in this report, in order to reduce the amount of people in jail, the Sheriff's Department must stop arresting people for misdemeanors, and the county should allocate more funding to mental health care and substance abuse recovery. Additionally, I hope the county will expand to felonies when it comes to providing alternatives to incarceration as they account for the largest population in jails, and many fel felonies are not actually threats to public safety. Finally, last week the state auditor released findings that confirm what community members have said for years. San Diego's jails had more in custody deaths than every other county in the state other than Los Angeles County. According to research released by the Police Scorecard Project, the San Diego Sheriff's Department receives more funding per capita than 80% of the departments in the United States. Yet the same department released a statement claiming that these recommendations will require substantial investment in the existing jail system. They do not need more money. They need fewer people in contact with them and in their custody in order to keep us safe. That's why the county must invest in alternatives to incarceration and invest in the things that keep us safe, like stable housing, access to quality jobs, and health. Thank you.